well, here we are. Lipstick on teeth check. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, the last few times I've had pictures taken where I wanted to share them on social media, I've had stuff in my teeth. Nice. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, okay, before we start, I'm yeah. brushing my teeth just in case. I recorded a video um, about, uh, you know, British designers. I did yeah. Michelle Mama Loves You GB yesterday. And I, the screen is so small, I can never really see yeah. myself. And when I'm editing in iMovie, it's like the, it's like this big, right? So, so I, I wanted to check something in the photo of her new chart. So I blew it up to full size. And all of a sudden, all I could see was how badly I needed lip balm. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, yeah. nice. I just yeah. recorded that whole video and I never really, really looked at myself. So, yeah. you know, we're low budget around here, <laughs> folks. Keep it real. Yeah. So yeah. I wore this sweatshirt today because I wanted to remind myself to talk about something. Oh, yeah. Um, Lisa, Lost in Stitches. Mm -hmm. Lisa M, Lost in Stitches. I I was hoping they would have arrived by now. That's why. Oh. Um, so she has some she has some merch that you can purchase to support her. So many of you um, over the last year have have emailed me and messaged me asking because you you didn't want to pester Lisa and check in on her um, whether she was okay and you know. Uh, I also, like you, didn't want to didn't want to bother her. Um, so, but she's as so many of you know, she's back to recording again. She is she is out and about again, and she's got some wonderful things that she's put out there into the world. Some new cross stitch yeah. designs on her Etsy shop. She's got some um, some t-shirts and sweatshirts and clothing that you can purchase to support her and support her channel. And so, I actually mm -hmm. bought both Carrie and I. I think you got the you got a gray one. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and I've got I bought a um I even had my nails done <laughs> thinking that I would I would have my sweatshirt, but it ha it just nice. hasn't quite arrived yet. Either that or it's in the mailbox and I I missed it. Um cuz I haven't gone in the last day or so. But uh anyways, go I'm going to leave a link to her both her channel below, her YouTube channel and her Etsy shop and her um it's not it's not Redbubble. She uses a different service, and I can't remember what the name of it is. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, check yeah. out her stuff. Give Definitely. Lisa a bit of support and love, and uh, all of all of our Evertote Roxy Flosco best wishes go out to fellow Canadian yeah. uh, Lisa. So, um, happy Thursday, Flosco. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Caroline. I'm the owner of Evertote. And I'm Carrie and the owner and dyer of Roxy Floss. And we're recording here at the Roxy Floss Co. Evertote Workshop in London, Ontario on August the... 22. The 22nd, 2024. And we have a lot of things to share with you today. Yeah, first thing that we have to share with you today. But actually, it's such a big deal such a big deal for us. I We have been wanting to do this for a long time. Oh yeah. Talking about anxiety producing. Is a linen club. Yeah. So what we're going to do here. is we're going to carry on and we're going to talk all about the linen club, but I'm going to separate it out into its own video um, and mark it as such so that the information is there and easily acceptable and not buried in and amongst rambling floss yeah. tube. No, that's a good idea. Showing and sharing. So, okay. So Let's get into it, All and right. then I will. I'll pull the video out later okay. when I'm editing. Okay, so back, back to regular. Back to regular, regular floss tube. Uh, what is it? Regularly scheduled. Regularly programming. scheduled programming. The only thing is, <laughs> I, I <laughs> don't care for things around your neck. <laughs> I, uh, it's a. Uh, it's a. Yeah, it's a thing. Right? I used to be like that, like up to about five years ago, and every crew neck t-shirt and sweater that I owned, I cut a slit oh, in really? it. Oh, really? Yeah. It was very Bruce Springsteen. I think it's because <laughs> I'm sitting down and it's pulling at the back. Oh, maybe. And it, yeah. <laughs> no, it's because it's not tight at all, right? No. It's just, it's a feeling. It's just a thing. I can't wear turtlenecks either. I love turtlenecks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I, it's too much. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's weird. I think it's I think it's just right where it's hitting. Mm. Anyway, so if you see me tugging at a lot throughout the next hour, you'll know what's going on. All right, I I have actually been stitching. Well, same. I have been stitching. But you shake it up a lot more than I do. And you, well, yes, I do. I had a few new starts. Nice. Um, but before we get to that, I actually have a little bit more. I I have a couple of admin things. One one in particular that I have to talk about. Uh, Soaring with the Wind, which is our collaboration, well, Soaring with the Wind is a, it's the, let me show you. We did a collaboration with Leanne of 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers, a five part series. <clears throat> this beauty was her result of those five charts. These five charts are still available. Um, each of these charts is sold separately, so if you only want to stitch one of them, like I loved stitching little birds that was really fun and um, I, I still have yet to finish four and parts parts four and five yeah that was a good one too they're all good I mean look at those oh, yeah. birds in the middle right so this was the five part series that Leanne took those motifs from uh, a large sampler in her collection and what she did uh, this past spring was that she she finally released the full sampler. So if it, and I and I don't have a copy with me because they're all gone, um, and that's actually why I'm talking about it today. Uh, Brenda and Laura, Brenda was talking about it on a on one of their episodes, and so it kind of flew off the shelf uh, downstairs. Yeah. And in fact. It flew off faster than I was expecting and we sold out and I didn't realize that we'd sold out. So there, I know that there are some of you who are waiting for that chart. Leanne had to get more from, she had to order more from her printer and then of course she has to mail them to me and then and then we'll, we'll get them on their way. So they are coming. Her, she is supposed to be picking them up on Friday from her printer, which is mm -hmm. tomorrow, yep. and then um, mailing them to me, expedited Canada Post. I should have them by mid next week at the latest, and then we'll get them out in the post to you. Flipping Canada Post. I know, right? Expedited, Expedited is like two and a half weeks. three to five days. <laughs> yeah, two and a half weeks. You're welcome. <laughs> Pay ten times as much oh, for half, the, half yeah. the time. So anyways, this this sampler is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the full sampler, it's got so many extra bits and pieces that, uh, you know, a, that you're not seeing in the five parts it's it's a beauty but again it's a bit I am thrilled with the small the smalls, oh, yeah. the five smalls and those yeah. are the ones I'm gonna stick with I'm not gonna be stitching the whole sampler a couple of people have mentioned um, and I know a couple of floss tubers have mentioned that the print size on the chart there have been a few complaints about the print size of the chart that it's too small um, and that's not an us thing so uh, you can email us about it if you'd like, but we have no control over the design or the print of 1897s of this chart. Um, and if if that if you think that small size of print is maybe going to be a problem for you, just now that you'll know ahead of time. Um, but I I know a lot of people use magnifying glasses to see it, or they'll they'll take it to a local Staples and have it blown up mm -hmm. um, you know Leanne is always very conscious of size and and uh, layout and you know having things fit in a way that are is not gonna be like anyways I, I I don't I don't know how to describe it I think it's it's her print quality is very clear uh, the symbols are not you know smudged or anything like that I mm -hmm. think it's it's very legible but it is small so just putting that out there. Um, so that was about soaring with the wind. In case that you were wondering where your order is, we are we are awaiting more charts. Um, we have, uh, I have been doing, and I've had a few guests throughout the month of mm -hmm. September, uh, celebrating UK designers. I just did a video yesterday all about Michelle, Mama Loves You GB. Yep. And she also just released her newest reproduction sampler that is her offering for Sampler September, Hannah Atwater, 1832. It's a beauty. 
It is a beauty. And Michelle, uh, we worked with her to put together a Roxy Flosco conversion. Mm -hmm. um, our Hannah did that and uh, and worked with Michelle to to get a couple of the colors just right. And of course, that's a it's a Roxy version of her DMC list, so it's not going to be identical, right? Well, that's no. what a conversion <laughs> is. It's it's not going to be yeah. well. I, I had somebody ask. Oh, they okay. wished that they could see a comparison of the DMC version to your version. Oh. And and I, I have to tell you, I, I, I can't really provide that because we work off of a DMC uh, th thread card. We don't, we don't pull the DMC threads no. and then pull uh, a Roxy conversion. We go with the, the, the artwork from the designer, uh, their thread list, and then we we go to the, 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 DMC, the card. DMC card, and then we start pulling colors that we think are going to be good matches, and then looking at the palette as a whole, like well those two colors are close, but they don't actually, you know, they're not the best together. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have another one that's a little closer, that's maybe not quite as close to that DMC, but it's a better fit into the palette. Yeah. So, anyways, so there you go. Um, yeah, Hannah Atwater. Holy cow, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We have had so many great, great, great new things added into the shop this month. This month, we're with a, a few new designs bringing in from the UK designers, but also um, Jacob, Modern Folk Embroidery. Uh, we added in four new charts from him. I'm going to talk about those a little bit later. And I just wanted to give you a heads up we are doing a little bit of a shop update tomorrow. Okay. We're bringing in a new Canadian designer, brand new Canadian designer into the shop. Her name is Diana Bloom. She's from Winnipeg and she's got three charts that are charted with Roxy Floss. Okay. Two of them have the best borders. Like we always, we love a good border, right? Oh yeah. So the two that have borders are uh, Blossoms for Joy and Mr. Darcy. Um, and it's, you know, it's the it's one of those wonderful quotes from Pride and Prejudice and it's you know with a great border what could go wrong yeah. right and then of special note is I think probably a personal favorite here at the workshop is her birds and brambles oh yeah it's oh, gorgeous man. it's absolutely lovely yeah and uh, and yeah charted with with your floss amazing so those are those. Uh, we are not carrying the charts. You can buy the. You can purchase the PDFs through Diana. I do believe there's a DMC conversion, a, a DMC list as well in her charts, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but we will have floss packs available for Diana's charts. And welcome, welcome to Roxy Flosco Evertote, Diana. Lovely to have you, and I'm excited to see more of your stuff. You should go and check her out. Actually, check out her Instagram and check out. She has a YouTube channel as well. Um, she clearly has an art background. Um, oh, her yeah. illustrations are beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, um, kind of how we've enjoyed watching Gigi's artwork um, come into her her cross stitch design. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to to, to watch uh, Diana's. Yeah work to come as well so the, the yeah. one that you just uh birds mentioned, and brambles. the birds and brambles i remember walking by hannah's office hannah's got a big yeah. window in her office and i walked by and i did a double take and i went back and i said what the heck is that <laughs> uh, it's so good and yeah. then she started talking yeah. about yeah diana it's so really it was... good i will have put in all of the pictures <laughs> of the designs here so that you can be looking at them as well uh, the other thing that is listing tomorrow, so we hope to have the shop listings uh, done and live by about 5 p.m. tomorrow, uh, Eastern Standard Time, Friday the 23rd, is the Buttercup Linen. The Buttercup Linen is finally coming to the shop as yardage. That is the beautiful, soft, mm -hmm. buttery yellow that was um, used for, yeah. you can show it to them okay. right now if you want, Weeds and Wildflowers, yeah. my birthday box. Oh, do you want me to show the stitching? Now or just show the linen. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa! Gorgeous. That's beautiful. Yeah. That, um, I was really cruising on this and then I made a stellar counting error. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. 
um, so half of that butterfly had to come out. Oh no! Yeah, that was heartbreaking, but oh, it's all good. It's beautiful though. Thank you. But that's the buttercup linen, mm -hmm. so that's going to be listed tomorrow, um, finally available in the shop. The other thing is, um, <laughs> we have inventory coming up at the end of this month, and we have a lot of one-of-a-kind flosses that have been hanging around. Um, some of them have never even made it into the shop, period. Um, leftovers from floss clubs, uh, just shortage of time around here at the workshop. So. Uh, we have a brand new uh, brand new team member here. Her name is Leah, and she is going to be joining Hannah on the admin side of things. So email addresses. If you have questions about anything here, we've got a new email address for you, and you're going to reach Leah at this, this address. It's admin at evertote.ca. And so questions that you've got, um, if you don't think they're, you know, if they're not order related, shipping related those are going to the info at evertote.ca which reaches emma and julie um hannah at evertote.ca reaches our hannah there's caroline at evertote.ca which is me of course and now there's admin at evertote.ca which is general questions anything you need to know you can you can shoot us an email there and then leah will kind of uh as she gets her feet under her uh here then she'll she'll start to uh, be able to answer them herself but also pass them in the right direction. As you can imagine, we all get a lot of email around here, so it's good to know um, who's the, the best person to help. Uh, so circular, I'm gonna circle my way back to the floss, the one-of-a-kind flosses that we've got in inventory, and we need to start clearing out some of those one-of-a-kind flosses, starting to try to make way for new floss clubs that are coming, mm -hmm. Um, starting January 1st, there's going to be some new clubs. We'll yeah. have more information about that as we get closer to the time. But there's going to be a whole host of floss being added to the 5 for 10 section. So you get five skeins of floss for $10 US. So it's $2 US a skein of floss, which is um, almost, almost half price. Uh, so, and we're going to, once they're gone, they're gone. We have taken that section down on the website now as Hannah and Leah uh, count all of the inventory that needs to go into it and get the listings ready to go and the, the, the discounts taken into effect. So, but it should be live by five o'clock tomorrow along with these other things that we've been talking about. So, and there's a lot, there, there are a lot of colors going into the five for 10 that have not been there before and I know the last time we did this, many of them sold out. Those ones have since been removed. There's a few colors that are still left that we yes. had a lot of mm -hmm. in the original five yeah. or 10. So still some, still some wonder, wonderful beauties in there, but there's gonna be a whole lot more added. Basically we're taking, we've, we've, Hannah says that we've got up until about the end of 2023 overages from Floss Club, one of a kinds and a couple of old colors old stock colors that are probably you know being phased out mm -hmm. so yeah look for that okay good stuff okay that's it for admin stuff i promise pretty sure okay you need to add anything or no correct me on anything i have nothing you have nothing <clears throat> i have nothing to add okay by the way uh you will like this sal We've been a little busy around here. <laughs> and every week, every week, uh, Carrie and I, I say to Carrie, hey, we should we should work on our Catherine, Catherine, Catherine Reese uh, samplers. And then every week she doesn't come upstairs. <laughs> I think she's avoiding me. Not the case Whatever. at all. Whatever. Not the case at all. And you need more flaw. I have, I, I, I am the keeper of the flaws. <laughs> If you want more floss, you're gonna have to come oh up and God. visit me. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't even bring it upstairs to show. I, you don't no. have it here either. No. Well, we need to sit down and work on it together. I know. That's I know. the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> it's really. Hard. I have to bribe you to be my friend, and that doesn't even work. <laughs> it's 
so Jeez. hard <laughs> to fit it in. <laughs> oh, and goodness. this is the one who says, "I think we can add more clubs <laughs> to the linen clubs." Uh huh. How about you just oh. try to be my friend first? <laughs> Whatever. Oh gosh. I know. I know. Oh, okay. So we need to get back to that. We do. It's coming. So just in case you thought we'd forgotten about it. <laughs> we have, we not have forgotten, forgotten about it. About it. Uh, ooh. Um, da, 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 da. We I, should rename it hashtag how to ruin a friendship cell. <laughs> You said you were coming. <laughs> we haven't gotten to that point yet. No. And we made it through five, six days of, of international travel, That's driving true. on the wrong side of That's the road. True. And we're still friends. <laughs> so I think I think we're okay. We're just two very busy friends. Yeah. 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 At least we work in the same building. That's true. Which means... We would never see or talk to no, each other. No. We, we really never would. No. That's crazy. But that's okay. Yeah. We'll, it works. We'll, we'll get there. I have a couple of uh, new shop models. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So, I stitched this one. Ta-da! Look at that! I love it. So this is this was our 2024 Salentines, designed by Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery. This was a box that um, that we put out uh, for for sale for Salentines. And um, spoiler alert, there is going to be another one for next February. Jacob has already designed it. We're just working on the, the color palette now. Um, so yeah, so that was my, that was my Salentines. I did it on a 40 count porcelain linen with uh, the three called for colors that came in the box, which were Honeymoon, Honeymoon is the blue, uh oh boy why can't um, i think of it now is it it's not oink is it oink no yes it is oink. it was oink and raspberry puree yeah that sounds I think right it was raspberry puree i think so it was the called for colors anyway <laughs> oops hannah <laughs> <laughs> she's already helped us out once with the linen clubs we've used our coupon. The fabric clubs we've used our coupon that's right so I did, if you can see, I kind of made a little bit of a boo-boo on the initials. I, I miscalculated that I probably couldn't have fit that with, there was a, a motif in the middle. So I just jammed John and my initials all together. Cute. Yeah. I like that frame. It really Isn't makes that, nice? that blue pop. Holy so smokes. I have a great framer. Um, his name is Craig and his business is Chops. That's C-H-O-P-S, chops.ca, and uh, he, their team is wonderful. They pin, they lace, they, you know, everything is straight. Everything is the way that I like it. Mm -hmm. And he's got a great eye. So I plop the pieces down and I'm like, what do you think? He gave me two options. One was a slightly thicker, dark pink. And he pulled the right colors off the wall. First try. Yeah. It's like he's done it before. <laughs> and uh, yeah. and I actually put up a little poll on Instagram saying which one do you like better. And I was leaning towards the blue as well, so I was glad that the poll won out. Hannah, of course, liked the pink. She's a pink fan. <laughs> but I, it's just very simple. It's very yeah. sweet. And I love, I love it. I dropped off the... Um, I finished the Cosford Rise in the Dale with the bunnies and the duck pond. Yeah. Um, it's So that is currently there with, oh, with nice. Craig. I'm getting that framed as well. So, nice. ta-da! Yeah, done. Love it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save those for a minute. Okay. Actually, those, those, are, those are Ellen's models. Okay. And they're to go with that. I love things that are framed really itty bitty. I know. They're cute, I right? I love it. So this next thing that I have to show you is not itty bitty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we're sticking with the modern folk embroidery theme for now. Hold on to your hats. I wish we had a drum. For drum roll? I, oh, you can insert it. I have a drum. Oh, from Stitch North? Yeah. The little toy I drum. have a little toy drum yeah. that we use at Stitch North. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a drum. Yeah, that wouldn't be annoying at okay. all for no. the viewers. <laughs> and don't worry, I won't put in sound effects. Okay. Not everybody loves them. 
but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. What? Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I know. Oh my like, god. Like, I, I can't even. I can't. Holy smokes. I can't even. I. Wowzers. Like, literally, I have no words. I know. I am without words. I know. What? Oh. Amazing. So this is, let me get the title right. DCVH 1785, a Dutch Red House sampler, modern folk embroidery. Now, that's Jacob's digital model, charted for Roxy Colors, Roxy Flosco Colors. That's the digit. He is amazing at digital models. They look real. Yeah, they're, real, they're really, yeah, he really very is. excellent. And here it is, live and in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So let's give you a close up. Okay. Now, oh, before I, before I, um, I have to give credit, uh, Gwyneth, our friend Gwyneth, curling stones and X stitches stitched the model perfectly mm -hmm. and in like five minutes. Yeah. She is such a, she's an amazing stitcher. Everything is perfectly stitched. It's tidy, it's neat, um, and wholly fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wholly fast. Uh, the, it is on, a 40 count speculas linen with the called for flosses. And I mean, these pantaloons, I'm gonna give you a oh, close yeah. up in a minute. That's chalkboard. And she picked the variegation to hit, like just, it's just, it, yeah, I, I she think did it's a really great. good job. So she chose carefully where the variegation went. Look at, look at the border, look at the animals, the roosters, the owls, the cats, the dogs. The flowers, the trees, the bunnies. I mean, those bunnies. Look at, look at the bunnies. The animals in the border is the just The animals like in the border are just get enough of them. so heckin' good. Those baskets, the red house, the roosters. And did you see the frame? I have to yeah, see if I can tilt it. You can, there, look at the oh, frame. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little distressed. Yeah. So, again, Craig it's picked nice. it out. It was the first one he picked off the wall, and it was perfect. Nice. Look at that. I love it. So good. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. Man, it's good. Yeah. Like, I would love to stitch one of these as a small. I'd stitch one of those as oh, a yeah. small. Okay. Fresh battery. Fresh battery. One more, one more moment of silence <laughs> of appreciation for this beauty that is joining the wall yeah. of fame. She is a good one. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just so gorgeous. So, we had four, four new um, additions to the shop from Jacob. I don't have um, charts here. We're still awaiting them from the printer, but I'm going to pop them up on the screen for you because they're amazing. Uh, I did actually, I did start one, which was Froka. I'll show you Froka first. Froka and... Where did it go? I have to get the name right. Frauke, Frauke Simmons Boss, 1792. My sewing, my sewing cloth, a sampler from the north of Groningen. <sighs> Gorgeous. And I have the floss pack here. This is the, this is the called for Roxy mm. floss. Nice. Oh, look at that. This oh, lipstick. Rig. Lipstick is my, like I'm slightly obsessed with it this is dark 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 raspberry puree and it is it's like a dull perfect red lipstick yeah. is is a good is is aptly named so um i started frauka she is not small she is big and uh it's a wide quarter wide quarter fabric on 40 count 
sideways though so i had to use i used 30 inch scroll rods so it's mm. it's very long yeah um but it's narrower as you can see from the model um is this it over no that's not no that. that's no your elizabeth yeah strickland. that's elizabeth okay. strickland yeah um but because it's so wide i have trouble using pdf or um, pattern keeper so okay. and, and we don't have the physical charts in yet uh, I'm, I'm still waiting for them from the printer. They should mm -hmm. be here any day. But I just, because of my vision, I have to have the paper copy right in front of my yeah. face when I'm stitching. And so I started, I did less than one length of thread and it was just way too frustrating. Yeah. So that's why I'm not gonna share my, my start with you today um, because I just don't have enough done. So as soon as those physical charts come in, I'm going to go to town because mm -hmm. I love these. I mean, it goes, we used Gwyneth. This was named after our friend. Because that was yeah. the blue that she wanted, so Carrie dyed it for her, and then it was such a perfect blue. Uh, blue in the face. Blue in the face is the darker uh, sister mm -hmm. to Gwyneth. Yeah. There was one that Gwyneth actually really needed for when she was doing. Um, is it Hands of Time? Something of time, uh, a Jacob chart of his sow from. Yeah, that's what you died. That's what Gwyneth was for. Oh, okay, but she also wanted a in between, like an in between one yeah. too. Yeah, that was that was rock on. It right. was the variegated that's one. That's right. Rock yeah. on was the variegated. Rock on because Gwyneth is a curler. Yeah, curlers use rocks. Ha ha. The dating <laughs> that we had explained to Ellen that it wasn't about. Her. I know because Ellen is like <laughs> rock on. <laughs> like, it's, it's like action. I can't that's not even for you. do it. <laughs> Sorry, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> but we did, um, we do now have a floss for Ellen. Yes, we do. So it's called Read It and Weep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually think it's been released yet. Or maybe it was a floss club. I, I don't. I'm not privy to these things all the time anymore, <laughs> but I do know that we finally have a proper floss for Ellen. So I am so excited about Froca. I think it's, um, I actually kind of pestered Jacob about this one because it was so beautiful and I really wanted it. So I'm like, are you finished Froca yet? Yeah. So a huge thank out, a huge thank out, a huge yep. shout out. Thank you to Jacob for making that, making my dreams come true. Because I just, I, I yeah, that's love really that nice. so much. Okay, the three other um, modern folk embroidery charts that we've added into the shop this month are uh, Rink Simmons, 1781. Uh, the Embroidered Ribbons from the Island of Marken, which is, I mean, look at that. Yeah. It's stunning. And then yeah. he had the actual ribbons with him at Big Stitch. You yeah. could see all the, yeah, I mean, just amazing. There's so many things that you could do with I know, that chart. I know. Like, like, like it's, it's so, so graphic. It, it is in the whole. You could, but you, you could, could do, totally separate them out. And yeah, whatever. You could do a border. You yeah. could do, uh, yeah. It's limitless. Just it's so strikingly graphic, like that. I love it. It's just wonderful. And then a really super popular release oh, yeah. that he's put out is "Put a Bird on It." So I just want to give you a little background information uh, that you should be aware of for uh, "Put a Bird on It" as well as "Rink Simmons." Put a bird on it. The cover, as you can see, ha it, it's colorful. Uh, there are four or five colors in there. But actually, Jacob charted this to be a monochromatic design and has also stitched it as a monochromatic red sampler. Um, Fallow Red, Carrie's Fallow Red, is his most favorite red. He has lately been stitching everything with Fallow. We have to actually mm -hmm. send him some more because he's almost out. Uh, Fallow Red's his favorite red floss. He stitched the Birds of Balaquin, which is his 2025 stitch along, which is amazing. Like it is so beautiful. He stitched that in Falu Red. Um, he's just finished the trifle gift. Mm -hmm. That was the 2023 holiday countdown freebie that was in the box. Yeah. The, that chart is now available for sale. And he stitched that in Falu Red. He's, he stitched, put a bird on it in Falu Red. It's gorgeous. I'm going to actually include some photos of his stitching here. He did share those with me. But we've had some questions because people actually, they like the cover. They want For to stitch sure. it the way the cover is. For so sure. 
Hannah put together a floss pack of Roxy Floss Co. that are similar colors to the palette that you see on the cover model. And that floss pack is available in the shop with this listing for this chart. So, and the, you can see the, she's done a photograph of those flosses together so that you can see that palette together. Uh, but you'll have to use the cover model for your stitching because the symbols in the design are charted for a monochromatic stitch, but it's not that difficult to figure out using no. the, the cover model what goes where. Um, okay, Rink Simmons. This is the other one. Now this one really threw us because it's it's different from how Jacob has charted any of his other designs in the past. Um, he doesn't give any symbols. He doesn't give any symbols and he doesn't give, um, what was the other thing? I can't remember. There's no stitch count for colors, but you can see from, he tells you which Roxy Flosco colors to use, but not, um, no symbols in the chart. And it's apparently it's a build your own adventure. It's a build your own adventure, <laughs> but it's, it's because the chart had to be so detailed because oh. of all of the back stitching and all of the work involved in the chart, using symbols was, was not an effective way to chart it. Okay. Color blocks using the colors of the floss in the chart itself was the best way oh, for him okay. to go about I doing it. I understand what you're saying. So you can yeah. tell very easily from when there's only a few colors, you can tell here I use the medium green, here I use the red. Yeah. And so that's why there's no, there's no symbol chart. There's yeah. no color, a uh, symbol key. It is a full color chart, which means the chart is a little bit more expensive because the entire thing, and we all know Jacob loves his historical research. He's a master at it. It is full of historical detail and research, and it's a full color booklet. So um, it was not inexpensive to print, and so that's why the print copies are a little bit more expensive. Can I pull this one? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I see so many things with that. I see an alien. I see um, <laughs> a, like a Day of the Dead uh, Mexican, um, you know, the skull, the candied sugar skull. I don't see that. No. Um, no. I see a cat. Yeah. I see an illustrative moon. I love the wagon. <laughs> I, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. And I love these motifs down here. Yeah. I mean, the letter, yeah, these, these really, Frisian letters yeah. are just so good. Um, he has yeah. a number of Frisian lettered samplers in his collection now. It's, yeah. They're really impressive. I love it. I just love those embroidered ribbons. <clears throat> those yeah. are just, just phenomenal. I mean, just incredible. Yeah. So, but I can't show you Frauco because I have less than, less than one length of floss in it. <laughs> you don't want to see it. Um, what else have you been working on? Uh, well, fixing the camping error on that. <gasps> you have a finish! I do have, you have a, a finish. finish. Look at that. I oh. finished Wind, I'm not going to flip the bird this week. Do you want, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wind, Windflower and the Whale. Oh, Carrie. I finished it. It's wonderful. And I had to drop that off at my framers because we've already got everything picked out and ordered. So, oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. It was so enjoyable to stitch. Um, oh, that's fantastic. And it actually, it took me a little bit longer. There is a lot of water and whale. Yeah. But it was, it was great. It was like four or five Focusing. nights of stitching. And there we go. And it was done. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Cosford Rise Stitchery the wind flower and the whale. There are three small charts that come in that pattern yeah. from Kelly of Cosford Rise. And that's a beauty. So oh, I love it. Carrie, this is cloud break linen and Carrie dyed it actually specifically for this pattern. And it's now a staple in the shop. And, um, it's a, it's a Roxy Flosco floss conversion. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. I just love it. Look at the little, the little lighthouse, I little know. house with the little island. Oh, it's fantastic. Beautifully ironed as well. Thank oh, you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I really busted it out today, man. Oh, it's just, it's really good. And then, uh, the frame that we got, it's going to be matted 
<clears throat> quite wide, mm -hmm. uh, circular. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get the a round frame like Kelly has on the cover photo. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they're very, very expensive oh, yeah. round frames. So we didn't go that route. Yeah. So matted, round, and then a square frame. Like Moonshine Cabin. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that framing job. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. That's this one right here. That's a modern folk embroidery. It's called Moonshine Cabin. Um, yeah, I love that. And I picked out a, um, uh, it's a blue, the identical blue of the water and the frame, oh. but it's metal and it's iridescent. Ooh. It's so pretty. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited to see that. So hopefully by the time, next time we record, it'll be. Congratulations. Thank it's wonderful. You. Thanks. It was felt good to get that out yeah. of my wit box. Yeah. No, that's really fantastic. Yeah. Um, when I was showing Moonshine Cabin, I was just reminded I'm always asked. So let's tell you right now, these three ladies right here. Oh yeah. Those are from our friend Ellen Maximum Cross Stitch. They are the queens. We have Elizabeth, Elizabeth, um, Catherine, and oh goodness. <laughs> I think I've Anne mixed Boleyn. them up. I've mixed them up. Is that, this might be Anne Boleyn and this is Catherine. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're right. Whoops. Sorry. See, this is why I should look these things up yeah. first, right? <laughs> but anyways, Ellen Reed, Maximum Cross Stitch is the designer. They are fantastic designs. I'm all, I'm constantly asked about those. So we do carry the charts in our shop. We carry paper copies. You can get PDF copies um, on MaximumCrossStitch.com. Uh, they are, Ellen stitched them with specialty stitches, but they are charted for full cross stitch. And so anyone can stitch them. You can stitch them on Ada with, with crop full cross stitch, or you can go to town and do specialty stitches. There are some suggestions in the back of each chart for the specialty stitches. This is Matter's Choice by Carriage House Sampling. It's on an old piece of um, lentil. lentil that is no longer, um, no longer dyed. Uh, carries linen called Pepita is a is a good substitute for that. This one here is a um, Blackbird Designs. It's from Honeysuckle Manor, which is a booklet. It's a collection of designs. That is, um, I believe that's Hannah Lavina. No, it's not Hannah Lavina. It's the other one. Can't remember, but it is from the Honeysuckle Manor book. And Ellen, my friend Ellen, actually stitched that model for us, and she. Um, personalized it for her family and the bear I'm always asked about the bear that again that's Ellen maximum cross stitch that's called the honey thief mm -hmm. charted for Roxy Flosco and then what other one constantly asked about oh the cow you can see the cow over there that um, it rejoice evermore by quaint rose needle arts fabulous chart fabulous chart hers is on a light colored linen her shop model her model on her cover is a light colored linen but we did it on a darker linen with a, a black gloss so there you go I think I caught all the ones that are normally requested behind me that's Ellen Hooker right there yeah oh in the house behind Carrie's head that's again maximum cross stitch no nope, other way this way move towards me there oh, you yeah. go that's always room oh yeah there is always room at the table, maximum cross stitch. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. <sighs> we have all of Ellen's uh, physical charts. She's got a whole section on our website. So if you just look at maximum cross stitch um, on our website, all of her charts are in there as well as PDFs from her website. Okay. Um, I've been working on, let's stick with Ellen for a little while, shall we? I have to finish a small. I am participating in a smalls exchange. I'll tell you about that. Let me show you first what I'm stitching. So I, this is four fancy tiles from Ellen, maximum cross stitch, four fancy tiles. I'm stitching the bird. That's the one I'm stitching. And have I shown these models here before, these little guys? Have I shown these? I don't think so. What? I know. Oh, no, you haven't shown that. Okay. I would have remembered that. So she says confidently. <laughs> I would have remembered that. <laughs> Silly. Look, 
So I have Ellen loaned me two of her models. So I've got the elephant. Look at it. It's so sweet. I love that. And then the, I love this house. Look at this. Look at that house. Isn't that great? It's wonderful. That is really, really, really good. So these are all in this booklet. You get all four of those designs and the floss pack. Um, so she has it, she has it, um, she has it charted for Roxy Flosco and the models were done with Roxy Flosco, but she does have a DNC conversion here in the chart as well. And as you can see, it's not a small list, but you can stitch all four of those designs with that floss pack. So, and that, I mean, that elephant is, yeah, I really like that. So I am working on the bird and I finished the border. Nice. Oh, look at that. It's so sweet. Look at it. So sweet. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stitching in yeah. that border. It there is it. a lot of color change in that border. But it is done. I just need to stitch the fun part in the middle. And I love stitching borders. The border was the fun part for me too. But now I have the beautiful bird in the middle to add in. And I'm telling you, there's still a lot of stitching left to go. And I have to have this fully finished and in the mail in a week. Yikers. <laughs> I know. So this weekend, this is my big job this weekend. And then I'll do the fully finishing next week. So... The, the swap that I'm involved in is a small, it's a Canadian Smalls swap hosted by uh, Karen of the Stitching Owl and, so, and, and another, um, it's escaping me now, I'm, I apologize, I will look it up and I will put the name of the other person co-hosting this as well. This is future editing Caroline jumping in to talk to you a little bit about the two Bay Stitchers, Cheryl and Michelle, who are from Prince Edward Island. Um, clearly I have been missing out. So I've just subscribed to their channel and I'm super excited to get to know them a little better. So please go and check them out. Two wonderful Canadian floss tubers. They've been around for over a year. So, um, yeah, let's see. Their first video was over, over a year ago. So I think I just made new friends. Um, I was very late to the game here and it, and, and I, I agreed to do this with Karen at a very busy time period in my life because I'm always a little bit like you and it's like yeah I can fit that yeah. in and I knew that this time period of my life would be a little slower but at the time that I agreed to do it and I should have been sharing the information about the swap I shouldn't have been doing anything because <laughs> it was so busy and so I really feel like I did Karen and her partner a disservice by not spreading the, the word enough about this um, swap. So I'm really hoping that they will do it again. It was open. I thought it was only open to Canadian floss tubers, but Karen said they opened it up and it was available for all Canadians oh, to participate. That's nice. And so the, the premise was choose a Canadian designer, stitch a small, um, you will receive the name of someone who you are going to send your small to and they won't know who it's coming from and I will receive a small from someone else and you have to have it in the mail by Labor Day weekend. So that the thought is that on Labor Day weekend, all of these swaps will be winging their way across cool. the country. So that's very cool. Yeah. Okay, so well, I need to, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> it I have no doubt that Hit I, can. I can do it thank you for your support <laughs> be right back <laughs> I got a small to stitch <laughs> I can do it I you know I have no doubt I am oh, yeah. fully confident that I can do it so I do hope they will do it again so that I can I, I would totally do this again um, yeah there are so many great Canadian designers that we have yet to stitch and Absolutely. enjoy, so why not, right? Uh, yeah, but the floss pack, I mean, look at those oh, colors. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. I that. Uranium glass Popping. is yeah. one of my new favorites. It's like Popping so green. good. Yeah. Uranium glass and jaded together. Beautiful. Gorgeous. 
Okay, so yeah. So that, I have been working on that. Nice. And I will get it done. I know you will. Thank you. Um, I finished a sock. I shared that over on um, my other channel. I'm gearing up for Sampler September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sock knitting's on the menu. Mm -hmm. This was last year's uh, Timber Yarn Sock that was part of our collaboration for Sampler September, Sampler Striped Timber. And I am going to be stitching Ellen's... Uh, it's, it was her chart that she designed based off of her inspiration from this fabric. So we've got two charts coming and I'm not going to go into great detail about this now because actually I'm going to be doing a big sampler September video on my other channel early next week. So I'm going to save that for then, but I've got my, the, I've got my yarn. I'm going to be knitting both. There are two colorways. There's the Agnes Kerr colorway that matches Ellen's Agnes Kerr reproduction sampler, floss colors. And then there is the sampler stripe timber colorway that matches the modern um, original design by Ellen, September's R Return. Right, that's Revenge. That's this is the return. original one is September's Revenge yeah. and this one is September's Return. This is the floss color palette that our friend Heather of Timber Yarns turned into a self-striping sock yarn. So we have two different kinds of self-striping sock yarn as well as sets of... 10. Sets of 10 it, where all of the colors are a mini skein of yarn. Yeah. So I've caked up Agnes and I haven't caked up my striped timber sock yet, but I'm going to be knitting the crazy sock lady pattern called Mahogany Run. Oh, nice. With this yarn. So I, I feel like that that's going to become what I try to do every year with the sampler striped timber or or the set or Heather's yarn for yeah. September is choose um, one of Kay's patterns. I find them very well written, easy to read. Yeah. If there's something funny in it, she's usually got an accompanying tutorial on on her YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, so I I enjoy them. I enjoy those sock patterns. So nice. Stick with stick with something I know for this. I'm not a very confident knitter. You I do great. love knitting. Yeah. I'm confident with what I know how to do, but it's stepping out of my zone. The other thing that I'm adding to my uh, my list is I'm going to start my crochet with Caroline in September. Which I'm excellent. So excited about. So again, <laughs> I'll have a big video on that next week on the other channel, which is Off the Grid Needle Arts. And we have a great resource down downstairs. Yeah, Emma. Crochet. Emma is an amazing crocheter, so I'm really excited actually that uh, I can pester her with my questions. Um, so I have I have been oh so nice to be able to sock knit again. Yeah, I my elbow is feeling so much better. Good, good. So so much better. The tendonitis is finally starting to feel like it's under control. Yeah. Um, oh Val, if you're watching this, Val. I have been Goodness. using this every day to take all of my stuff back and forth. Now, clearly, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's working in here. pretty hard right now. <laughs> but it, this is this is how I roll, okay? And I do just fine. You thank do. you. Um, okay, so I have been working on numerous things, but things that I brought specifically to share with you today. Another reason why I chose this color. Summer Garden at Cranberry Manor, Pansy Patch, oh, yeah. Quilts and Stitchery. Are you ready? I am. I was so close. I'm so close. Oh. It's not done yet. It's not done, but I am so close. Let me tell you. Okay, don't peek. Okay. Okay. Ready? I'll tell you when to look. Okay. Okay, look. Oh! I know, right? Oh, I just love it's how so dense good. it is. It's so good. Yeah, I really love this combination. <sighs> Sorry, what count are you on again? 28. 28, 28. Yes. Two strands of, am I lying? Is that 32? I feel like it might be not 28. I'm lying. It is 32? Pardon me. No. This is 28. Is it? Yeah, it's 28 it's just, biscuit. 
Okay. We had a we had a dye lot of biscuit that had very low model on it, and I love uh, it. I really love it. Right. I'm really into the graphic nature of things, and it's just stunning. I just, I am so thrilled with it this. It makes me want to stitch with it's two strands. It's so fun to <laughs> stitch. This is so fun to stitch. And because it's, it feels like it just stitches itself. Yeah. Because the colors are so, so rich. Yeah. Yeah, I really it's like it. It's just a, it's pure pleasure. Pure pleasure stitching this. I am thrilled with it. So I just have to finish the top. And you know, there's some mo there's more stitchy. There's always more stitching than you think. Oh yeah. There's quite a few motifs in here, small ones, but they're just small. A couple things on the roof. Uh, one of the flowers, I'm I. You can see I left my my thread, my thread dangling because I I I still have to finish filling in that flower. And then of course um, the top border, yeah. which matches matches this border. Yeah. I found. I don't know what is. I've got like a mental thing going on with this. Weeds and wild wildflower. Wait, wildflower and weeds. Yeah, weeds and wildflower. We, yeah, because I'm like hashtag almost done, and then I pull yeah. it up on Pattern Keeper, and it's like you're at thirty four percent. I know this is there is no. a lot of stitching in that. Yeah, it's very dense. It is because there's a Especially huge when you do it flower. Twice. Yeah, <laughs> the moth and yeah. the flower are full coverage. Yeah, they're huge. They are. Yeah, I know. But isn't it pretty? It's gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. I, so, I am, yeah, that's, um, I am absolutely in love with this. Yeah. I love everything about it. It's been such a pleasurable stitch. I'm going to be sad when it's done. Would it, but do I can't wait to have it on my some wall. Type of a fin oh, you are going to oh, frame yeah. it and put it on your wall? Yeah. I have a lot of wall space. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of wall space here. I love it. I just love it. Yeah. Lori, it's a winner. Yeah. Total winner pure pleasure. I've enjoyed every stitch. It's been a lot of fun. So that I foresee finishing very soon. After um, the small. After the small. <laughs> I, you know what though? I don't, <sighs> yeah, I guess I'm at the time point where I yeah. have to not stitch anything else. I feel like you're going to have to get nightly I have a real, me. I, I... <laughs> What are you doing right now? It better be the small. <laughs> I have a real problem with if I have to do something. Do you know what I mean? You dig your heels in. I even dig more? my heels oh, okay. in that I don't want to do it, and <laughs> and there's not like it's gorgeous. We should unpack it's gorgeous. that sometime. <laughs> I, I know that's that's totally a me thing. It's a me thing. Uh, anyway, um, but I I have gotten I have had several new starts lately, so I'm getting it out of my system. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I, I will. Okay. Okay. I will. You've got another one. Rest. Yes. You, is this another new start? Oh my God. Hey, I had a big birthday this I year. I know. No, and I'm, you, I'm like loving it. You, you knew it. Yep. You, you knew going into it. Oh, I know. Okay. Again, I kept a... up with you for about two and a half weeks. <laughs> and then it was like, I can't do this. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you're like, this is so fun. This is yeah. so good and so fun. Okay. So I, if you, you need to go and watch the video that I did with Hannah for the okay. old barn stitching co. Um, now wait, that was the one earlier, earlier last week. Yeah. So I just did, did Michelle, do, it was did, late last week. Have you only done one with Hannah? Yes. Then I did watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So this designer, yeah. Old Barn Stitching Co. is Sammy, Sammy Sharp. Right. Now she has a partner in crime whose name is Deb, uh, Deb Greensill. And together they, they work together with their reproduction samplers. So the samplers belong to Deb. She does all of the historical research on them. She stitches them from the sampler right. and Sammy charts them. Oh, so they work together. But this chart, this I believe is just Sammy. This is her original design. And I immediately couldn't take my eyes off of it. I saw it at her, um, her booth at the Big Stitch and I wanted it right away. 
So Hannah did up a floss conversion for me. Ta-da. Ta-da. Nice, ta nice. Now the original iteration of, the, of Hannah's conversion didn't include this color, which is Myrtle. So spoiler alert, we added in Myrtle. Instead, she had Jungle Nights as the teal color. So I started with the floss pack as, as she had intended. Um, and I started stitching the house and I just fell in love with it. I am gonna show it to you in a minute, don't worry. I'm just telling <laughs> you the backstory. And I just thought, oh, this is just the most beautiful thing ever since sliced bread. And then I started working my way out and then I looked at the cover model again and I thought, hmm, Jungle Nights and Great Lakes have to sit next to each other. Yeah. So you can see there, they're quite close to each other. And tonally, they're both quite dark. Yeah. I've run into this problem too. So you need to have, you can see there. Yeah. That's a good representation right, right there. Yeah. Jungle Nights is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I love yeah. that floss. And this is the first time I'm using it. One of my favorites. And so I, I, I went to work the next day and I said, okay, I want to keep Jungle Nights in it because it's <clears throat> the best thing ever, but we need to find another floss for the outside. And um, immediately she brought three choices and she said, I think this one. And I'm like, yep, it's perfect. And that was Myrtle. Myrtle is not released on the shop yet. It's not an individual color, but it is repeatable. It will be coming to the shop. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, it's only available in a couple of floss conversion floss packs. Um, so it is, it is in this pack now. Are you ready? I am. I'm really excited actually. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it's so good. So you can see there's Jungle Nights is the house, part of the house that I've stitched. I still have the first floor to stitch. And then there's Myrtle in the in the Quaker motif there. Thanks. Now, I stitched that bird last night. It was late, I was tired, and I made a mistake. Oh, and bummer. And that bird is actually one row shorter than he needs to be, but I'm not ripping it out. So what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> The other three birds are going to have the same mistake <laughs> so that they match and it should work. It'll just mean that the top of the the top of the vine will be one stitch higher than the head of the bird. It'll be mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. It'll be totally fine. I'm not ripping it out. I'm not restitching it. It still looks like a bird. Yeah. This is so fun. So this is 40 count speculas. And I'm using one strand of floss over two. Nice. I am in love with it. I really it. like it. The colors are so Can I just beautiful. see the detail of the little house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not good. Yeah. I that like pink. Tall, tall and skinny house. Yeah. The pink is Piggy Bank, which is currently Hannah's favorite pink. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I can see why. It's perfect. Yeah. I love it. Let me put something behind it. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I love it. It's so fun. Yeah. And I I'm mean, looking forward to seeing you. That's the edge, right? Yeah. So it's not. It's not overly. It's not big. huge. No. You're looking forward Good. to me finishing We're, it? No, working more on it. I'm. Yeah. I, I'm excited seeing to it. see it transpire. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Of course, after you finish your small. Yeah, I really, I wanted to get all the colors in. Yeah. And then now I want to, I, I want to finish the house. I'm going to yeah. stitch the house. So that has been really hard to put down. So not going to lie. Um, I, yeah, because I was hoping to finish this by the time we recorded today. <laughs> but I left my chart here at work. Oh. Uh, so yeah. shucksy wucksy, I had to work <laughs> on this instead because that's what I had at home. Uh, plans. I am, it's almost that time of year. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to show this to you. I forgot. I forgot to show this to you. But guess who that is? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. That's so funny. So Julie and Emma, I've known Julie since we were kids. 
literally since we were kids. <laughs> and just a couple weeks ago, I found... And that's Jules right in the middle? No, no that's Julie. Oh, that's Julie. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know we all looked alike. That's, well, that's not me. That's Jennifer. Um, it's 80s, right? And there's Jennifer again. But there's 87. Julie. 1987. Oh, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. 1987. Yeah. Amazing. Hey, Julie. <laughs> 1987. I know. So, yeah. We've been friends cool. forever. And then John and his best friend Peter have been friends forever. And then we introduced them and they got married to each other. <laughs> so, yeah. That happens. It's funny. But anyways, I digress. I had these tucked into my, I use um, my floss folios all the time. And so I had my photos tucked into my floss folios. Nice. I finally pulled out, because I want to finish it this year, my Witch Witch. What did I do with it? It was just there. I know. I know, it was literally just there. That's the actual chart. That's the chart. Is I that just, your that's my project? That's my project. Oh. Okay, well, I can't find my cover. It's okay, so I'll show you this. Witch Witch. la -dee da And here's where... Oop, needle. Here's where I'm at. Excellent. Right? It's not a big chart. So I would love to have this finished mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Now this linen was a one of a kind linen. This is a 32 count, one of a kind uh, linen that Carrie died two years ago. Yeah. But she came up with something similar. This is a dark version of Buttercup and it's called Beekeeper. As you can see, it is similar it's lighter in tone mm -hmm. than this original and less modeled yeah um but it looks amazing with the la di da witch witch chart so we actually have i think i only have three or four of these kits left so it is the chart it's the chart it's the fabric it's the vampish floss which is a super super rich dark purple black um and a small project bag so I think I've only, we had kitted these up for Stitch North in the spring. I think I maybe have three or four left. And then we will not be bringing this chart back into the shop. Once it's gone, it's it's gone. So that's why we kind of kitted them up as a special project. And, but I mean, once we run out of charts, it's not like I'm not going to stitch this anymore. <laughs> we only have Beekeeper currently 28 count, but we, uh, Carrie's dying the rest of the counts probably next week. So if it's not in the shop. You can always ask for it if you want it in a higher count. And it just looks amazing with Vampish. So there's my whip. So watch this space because I would love to finish her, 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 her skirt. And I have my floss on a mix of OG cards as well as um, the last time I really, really, really worked on this was at Stitches in London. Oh, wow. Back in October of 2022. Yeah. And our friend Lori Sykes of My Crazy Life, these were her table gift. Let me get my melon out of the way. See that? Stitch in yeah. London. And I put my floss on the lovely um, wooden floss drops that mm -hmm. she'd given us. So it's nice to use those things that yes. you get as little gifts, table gifts and whatnot. That's a different dye lot of Vampish. It was just there just in case I had to squeeze in a couple of strands, yeah. which I might actually, but that one might be a different dye lot too. Hmm. That's fine. Don't be afraid of if your floss is slightly different dye lots. No. You know, work it in. You can, you can, there's a couple of things you can do. I mean, unless they're wildly different you can strand it so you can take one strand of the old one strand of the new put them together mm -hmm. and then you're going to blend that color in i also like to if i'm starting a project and i have a bunch of floss from different dye lots i will pull from different skeins as i'm stitching so just like yarn alternating rows mm -hmm. i will alternate skeins um you know or just enjoy the the beauty of the fact that it's a little bit different yeah I mean, I could stitch a couple of the other motifs surrounding the witch in a different dye lot and nobody would really care. No. It's not going to make a big deal. So, yeah, love it. 
So that's my future plans. Excellent. That and I still need to put the first few official stitches into my Strawberry Thief redo. Okay. The Heaven and Earth design. I haven't done that yet. Yeah. Um, future plans for me. Uh, I want to start that flossibility. Oh, yes. Chart. Amazing. Which is wonderful. If you haven't checked out uh, flossibility, Lauren and her brother Sam, um, they recently put out uh, Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. Cabin in the Woods. Uh, it's a lovely chart. It's, I really like it. Um, got all excited, kitted it up. I really want to maintain that dark ground. Um, so I got cat, no, night owl, night owl. <laughs> I can't stitch on <laughs> night owl. It's, uh. Oh, I can't do it. I would like the stress. What about a bigger count? Um, maybe, or I'm just going to create a new linen color. <laughs> Because I really want the gray. Like I'm thinking maybe uh, double down on catnap. Mm, ooh. So that we have a nice dark. Nice. Yeah, a nice dark gray. Very nice. Yeah. Mm, that would be So really stay nice. tuned for that. I was super, it was a total false start. I was so angry. I hate oh. it when you get all, you're all hyped up for something. And then you go start and within two threads, it's like, I can't do this. This is too uncomfortable. Yeah. My eyeballs were hurting. And... <laughs> That's yeah. no good for anybody. No. Well, I'm excited to see that come to life. Yeah. With a new linen. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be good. Good. Anything else? No. No. I'd like to get this finished. Okay. So. Yeah. You should see the desk. It's my <laughs> stuff. Carrie stuff. Hello, pile. Neat and tidy. Oh. Good. All right. Well, I think that's okay. it for us, us today. We'll say goodbye. Yes. And um, uh, if you're interested in more information, if you're joining me with Sampler September, um, you can catch me over on my other channel, Off the Grid Needle Arts, early next week, and we'll do a prep lead up. I'm so excited to uh, Sampler September. Mm -hmm. Also, movie night next oh, yeah. Wednesday night. If you're local or close to local to us and you yeah. want to come out to watch Notting Hill, um, we've got the whole theater. We're going to be at the the um, excuse me. We're going to be at the Highland Theater, yeah. and the lights are going to be dimmed but not completely out. Um, I'm going to bring a neck light. Yeah, and um, it's yeah, be fun. Come and have craft night It'll with be us. Good. It's going to be a very small group. Yeah, a lot of people. I think Wednesday night's a tough sell, but uh, I, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It'll be the most expensive movie I've ever gone to. <laughs> Whatever. That's okay. I don't care. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait. All right. I will see you. We'll see you again. Happy yeah. stitching, everybody. Bye. Bye.